thanks for watching and let's evaluate an integral the cool way. Because consider the following monster and notice it's sort of the product of two functions. One being x to the n and the other one x to the n. Now, of course, this integral is not f of x times g of x, but it turns out it is true in terms of convolutions. So let's try to convolve f and g, which is a fancy way of multiplying, and see what we get. All right, so now f convolved with g, I'll use t for reasons that will be apparent in a second, is the integral from 0 to t, f of tau, g of t minus tau, d tau. So that is the notation that the book Bois de Prima uses. It looks scary, but notice if you add tau and t minus tau, you get t. Also tau like Terence tau, really cool. So in this case, what this becomes is integral from 0 to t of tau to the m, 1 minus tau, or t minus tau, to the n, d tau. And if you look back at the first integral, notice the main difference is that the original one had 1, but here we have a t, which now leads to the following u substitution, let u be tau over t, and then you can also check that d tau is t du. It's almost like tedious, tedious. And then what we get, the integral becomes integral from 0 to 1, t u to the m, t minus t u to the m, t du. And there's a nice miracle that is happening here, because notice there is a t that comes out, another t that comes out, another t that comes out, and i come out. So in this case, the convolution now becomes the following. So f convolved with g of t then becomes t to the m from the first factor and from the second factor. 1 from that du, integral from 0 to 1 of u to the m, 1 minus u to the n, du. But notice this is precisely the integral that we wanted at the beginning. So what we get now is simply f convolved with g equals t to the m plus n plus 1 times our integral that we call i. And very important, i is just a constant. I think 2 is something. And now what we want to do to this equation is apply a transformation that works very well with convolution, which is called, drum roll, the Laplace transform. No, not Fourier. Laplace is easier here. So apply fancy L to the left-hand side and to the right-hand side. And then what we get, Laplace transform of convolution, is just a multiplication of Laplace transforms. So L of f times L of g, and i is just a constant, so i times L of t to the m plus n plus 1. And by the way, I found out I'm actually related to Laplace. So if you take my advisor's advisor advisor 12 times, then you do get Laplace but also Hilbert on the way, and Lagrange, and even Euler and Gauss. Yeah, I know. Fancy channel for a fancy person. Yeah, you came to the right place. 
All right, now to finish off this problem, f is just t to the n, g is t to the n, And remember, the Laplace transforms of power functions is easy to calculate. This just becomes m factorial over t to the m plus 1. So you factorial the top and add 1 to the bottom. And then n factorial over t to the n plus 1 equals i times m plus n plus 1 factorial over t to the n plus n plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. And now comes a really, really cool thing. Notice the powers here, n plus 1 plus n plus 1, precisely match, meaning that you can just cancel out now the denominator. And what you get then is an equation for integral. So what we get is m factorial times n factorial equals i times m plus n plus 1 factorial. And so lo and behold, our integral, which remember is just the integral from 0 to 1, x to the m, 1 minus x to the n, dx, then just becomes m factorial times n factorial over m plus n plus 1 factorial. Whoa! How cool is that? And it really illustrates the beauty of the Laplace transform. We didn't have to do some crazy integration by parts or some expansion here at all. We just did it directly with this elegant technique. And by the way, this is even true if you replace m and n with non-integers. The only difference is you have to replace um, the factorials with gamma functions. But the still technique is still true. How cool is that? All right, if you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.